it's a weird time of year, honestly, for me to have a new boat. It's always, you know, winter time. I'm always in long pants, sweatshirt, and that kind of stuff. But uh, the new Nitro Z21 XL got it really, really early. They wanted us to have this boat, uh, you know, to be able to fish the last few of the Bass Pro Tour events out of us. I'm super excited to have had this boat so early. And I'll have this boat all next year as well. So, um, you know, this will be this will be an odd deal for me to have a boat 18 months like I will with this one. But really excited about it. It's a totally new boat, top to bottom. Um, a new hull, new top cap, new layout. Everything about this boat is uh, is is brand new. You know, some of the great stuff that we've had from the Z9 to the Z21, now in the XL, some of that stuff is still carried over, but some of the stuff has definitely changed. So, uh, yeah, I want to go through this boat front to back and, uh, and kind of just walk through it real quick and show you everything that's on. I guess since I'm inside, we'll start it here. And start at the front, run a three um, Hummingbird Helix 12s. Got my 360 unit on one. Got my new Hummingbird Mega Live as a filming this. Um, I've had very little uh, on the water time with it, uh, but got that on its own dedicated unit. And then the third Hummingbird Helix 12 up there is for 2D and map. Of course, the Ultrax, you know, and then my Talon buttons up there, all that stuff's still basically the same. And then up here, so in our, in the layout, um, one thing that's definitely new on this boat is, are these little small, um, you know, day boxes here. That's a great place to put whatever I, Parker and I fished a Tuesday night, our first fish caught in this boat, Parker caught on his first cast, and we won the first tournament we fished out of it. So uh, no pressure going forward. But, you know, something that where you can just keep, you know, you keep a few bags of, of soft plastics, maybe an extra crank bait whatever you're using, you can keep that right here, right under your feet. A big difference here, before in the Z21, this was all, this was one box, and then this was split into two boxes. So, you know, definitely a, a big difference here with these two big giant boxes that open towards the front. Um, and you can see, you know, that, that they're designed to where Plano style boxes fit, you know, fit that way. And then, uh, and then you've got some extra rod storage up there as well and then it's actually got a little place over there i put a piece of angle a little spools of line i think of course got those th uh tackle titans up there and then got some extra little clips here work good for holding you know holding buzz baits or jigs or soft plastics bags of those a um, lot of different stuff there and these have some strip led lights in them here with those buttons so you raise the lid when you got the power on and the lights will come on and then over here on this side, very similar, kind of what we've had. I've still got a few rods thrown in uh, over there. And uh, took this divided that I, I've used in my other boats and cut it to fit. So then it kind of gives me some little compartments, um, you know, to store stuff in. Over here, same deal with the top, uh, the tool holders. Got that stuff there. Still got some trash in here. Jenny's not cleaned out my trash yet. For Parker not fishing. Uh, cooler, very similar. You know what it has been. Look, that's a fish scale. Probably off of one of those hybrids or white bass Parker caught the other day. Uh, same deal here with this slide drawer. Got our scales, dye, all kind of stuff in there. Mold at the end. Uh, well, the other one was like a carpet covered. This one's fiberglass. And what about what your feet are on? Yeah, so it's got. Um, I see that kind of material down here on the floor, which is really nice because that stuff dries so fast. You get water down here when it was carpet. It's like it would stay wet forever with, with that. Dry really quick, so that's nice. It's all, you know, edged and stuff. Got the Nitro logo with carpet decals still go to it just as well. Yeah, sitting here on a Dalco Cruise Air seat. Of course, two more Helix 12s there. Same way I've ran them for several years. But... Mounting my Aquaview camera here again on a rail blazer. That is a side port mount. And then I've, I've got one down here um, mounted to the side, if you can see it. But I've got my phone holder on, so I'll be able to keep my phone right there where I can see it at all times, strapped in my Aquaview camera that I can use it, uh, you know, here while I'm idling around, grafting stuff. And drop that down really easily and, and see that too. So it's, it's got a airbag in the butt part you know that you can add air to or let air out of and then you can just add back. air to the back of it you know when it's really rough a lot of waves and stuff you can 
you can push yourself up onto that steering wheel a little bit more and have a little more support that way. So it's definitely a excellent, excellent ride. Uh, one thing I always do is I take the exact tray. I've got one spare tray, so I take the <laughs> one out of my old boat. I put it right in my new boat. So this one's like five years old. Um, and then I just set the new one out and it's got all my extra paperwork and everything. And I just set it over there. And at the end of the year, I switch it out. Live wells are good. Harper and I use those other not. This box is actually the most noticeably smaller, uh, in this boat to pair to my 21. It's also a place where we're not at a whole lot, you know, other than for your batteries. I've got my spare prop back here. Uh, but I've already switched some, you know, got my lithium pros in here. Got a spare four blade fury there with my 100 amp hour or actually 80 amp hour uh, trolling batteries. I think it is a 100 amp hour crank battery. I've got an extra life jacket, a little toolbox, a paddle for my uh, push pole back there, adapter. Then this little tray, I've got a spare hub, a couple blocks of wood for taking a prop off if I need to, bolt meter, spare, got a spare trolling motor prop, wrench, just a little bit of stuff there. Hold on tray sits just like so on that stays put and then over here is probably pretty empty oh, some rain suits parker's life jacket just that in there and this is something I, i've not been doing i don't know why but that is a great place to store your throw cushion just slide that seat forward and then slide it back and loft that in that was really i don't know why it took me so long to realize that it's supposed to be accessible not in a box like where it usually was. Uh, and then I put my, I always put my push pole there, my super stick, um, which right there, super handy. So that is the outside. Oh, you little don't need it. Pull out your little. Yeah, measure tape's in the same place. 15 inch measuring board. Uh, the small mouth we called the other day because I didn't put an 18 inch measuring board in the boat. Uh, I had to take my file and kind of double check about three inches, add to that. I was like, and then the fish was, you know, he was out here in like 19. I was pretty sure when I caught him, he would. But I just wanted to double check. So that's kind of how we had the redneck into the we do that. Uh, but yeah, that's basically it for the inside. Really, the biggest change definitely is up there on the front, um, that different layout, those two little small bay boxes. Even if you forget to put the plug in before you put the boat in the water. That's how you get it. So much better than loading it on the trailer. So much better than you have a car. Man, look at that. How many times have we done that? Several. A lot. I did it this year with Parker and Johnny. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> as a matter of fact, when we put it on a dirt ramp, so <laughs> I had to run right back over and and, uh, and load it up. Yeah, the boat's all been in the water twice. Uh, so, I, I went ran it some, then the fish sat with Parker. Uh, going around the outside, I guess, uh, two 10 foot talon, black. Um, I did a, then the black, uh, 12 inch Atlas jack plate back there on the back of it. Of course, Mercury, uh, 250 Pro XS, that four stroke. We've been running several years now. Yes, y'all on that. What's so, so that is a spare, uh, side energy transducer. Like I mentioned earlier, I'll have this boat for 18 months, uh, which is longer than usual for me. And I may at some point in time just be like, Hey, I, I want to you know, just try a different transducer. I may tear the one on there off. So while the guys were rigging it, I had them go ahead and just run an extra one. I mean, each of those units are side engine units. So I had them go ahead and run that extra transducer. So if something happens, I've got one already ran. I don't have to go through the boat, pull a bunch of wires. One thing, the units up here, as well as at the console, these three up here are on a triple bass boat technologies mount. The two at the console are on a dual bass boat technologies mount. Um, you know, super rigid, very, very, uh, very robust. Thank y'all for watching. 2022 model Nitro Z21 XL boat walk through. There won't be one in January this year. Nope. This is it. That's it. We're done. <laughs> so, yep, this is the 2022 boat walk through.